Hello world and welcome back to Real Talk with Rajan with Nothing's Off Limits. I am your host, Rajan Lewis. Now here on Real Talk, one of our goals is always to shine a light on the great things that are going on right here in the Low Country. And today we have none other than the young lady I call Chucktown Oprah, the magnate, the conglomerate, Miss Exquisite Enterprises herself, Miss Kim Bowman. Thank you so much for joining me. Awesome. So for those who follow the show, you know that Kim has been on here before, one time before, uh, when I actually first got started, she was one of my first guests. So it's so awesome to come full circle and have someone come back who was once a guest before. So thank you so much again for joining me. All right. For those who don't know who you are, um, please introduce yourself to the audience. Well, my name is Kimberly. I am the owner of Exquisite Enterprises Day. Most people that know me in Charleston know me for so exclusive Charleston magazine. Um, but in the latter part, if you follow me, the latter part of last year, I expanded. Um, and now I have Exquisite Enterprises Inc. And that is a media and community conglomerate in Charleston where we just do a number of different things um, and just help people and serve the community and educate people um, in just so many different creative ways. Um, we have six subsidiaries under <laughs> Exquisite wow. Enterprises Inc. And so Exquisite Charleston Magazine is still one of them. So, so Exquisite Charleston didn't go away. It's just kind of under something else now so um yeah all right so let's walk it back so let's walk it back so okay. let's so for those who don't know so exquisite charleston magazine okay explain to them what that is so exquisite charleston magazine is a online magazine here in charleston i started in 20 that was march of 2013 um so it's been over five years now since i've been an entrepreneur so I feel like it's been longer <laughs> um it has just been an exciting journey you know i always knew that I wanted to be able to share knowledge and share information with people. And I wanted to do it in a very unique way. Um, you know, I was a young lady who didn't really have much self-esteem and self-confidence. So, you know, I would see magazines and stuff and see all the pretty girls. And I was just like, well, I want to do something that makes girls like me feel good. And, you know, so something. I started to exercise Charleston once I moved back home from college and started off as just a music blog and then you know as time went on you know I started adding things and adding things and adding topics and stuff to you know share with people and it just blew up into what it is now wow so, wow <laughs> that's amazing time. that's so, yeah. amazing Thank right you. so so it Charleston magazine you said it's been going on for how long now over five years over five mm -hmm. years and how old are you I'm if you never supposed to ask a young lady your age, <laughs> can never but, I, but she's very young. Uh, that's why I'm doing this. This is why, I, trust me, there's a method to my madness. All right. But how old? I'm 25. 25. She's at 25 years old. She's had a magazine since she was 20. All right. So let me, let me break this down for you young ladies out here who's making excuses as to why you can't be great. Don't let your age be the reason you can't be great. I'm sorry. I need, I need to do No, I need just to do gotta that. say it. It's definitely you're not lying. Am, am I overstepping? No, you're okay. not lying at okay. all. All right. Okay. <laughs> because that's important. It's important that you own that. And I, and, I, and, I, and I applaud you and I love that. That's why I call you Chuck Town Oprah because I have such a massive level of respect for what you do. You. Now, so, you, so what led to the expansion from just So Exquisite Charleston to So Exquisite, to Exquisite Enterprises. Enterprises Incorporated? Now, what I wanted to do, um, I, I, I'm naturally a very ambitious person, so I always had this desire to be able to do great things and be able to make a big impact in the community, and I just had so many ideas in my head, and I was like, I don't want to overwhelm my brand by trying to do all of this under under my magazine, and mm -hmm. I had just published two books, and you know, I was like, I was like, okay, I want to, I want to do this, I want to do that, and so I just sat down and. You know how you set goals for yourself, and you're like, oh, yeah, two years from now, two years, five years from now, 10 years from now. And I was like, well, why don't I just start it now? Like, why don't I just expand now? Why don't, why don't I just bring all these things that I want to do to life now? So I just came up with this idea, and I said, okay, I want to have a publishing company. I want to do a radio show. I want to have a nonprofit. I want to have my magazine. I want to, you know, have this. I want to have that. So I just created this umbrella organization to be able to, that represents everything that I do. Because wow. I do so much. Yeah. <laughs> I can feel you. So yep. I just figured it's easier to instead of saying, <clears throat> you know, oh, I have so exquisite Charleston, but I have, you know, exquisite enterprises, and these are all the awesome things that we do. So, mm -hmm. yeah. 
All right, all right. So, so what are the services that you hope to house underneath Soul Squids? Because we know you already have the um, publishing. Mm -hmm. You're doing the publishing. Um, what, what you've written two books, and we're going to talk about those as well. Um, but in addition to the publishing and in mm -hmm. addition to the magazine, what other services do you plan on adding to it? Um, well, under Exquisite Enterprises, Inc., there are six subsidiaries. There is uh, Exquisite Kids, which is a nonprofit organization dedicated to kids um, who struggle with self-esteem and self-confidence issues. Mm -hmm. There is... Um, what else is there? <laughs> There's my publishing company. Um, it's called Exquisite, Exquisite Publishing, where we, you know, mainly where I publish a lot of books, but I also help other authors who are looking to publish work to be able to, you know, market themselves, you know, go through with the process and things like that, because it can be overwhelming. Um, and I also have Exquisite Radio, which is my own radio show that I do as well. Um, what else do I do? I'm so exquisite Charleston. Y'all hear all this stuff? All right. <laughs> <laughs> I have um, Exquisite Solutions, which is actually my business uh, consulting business development agency, where I help other businesses um, in areas that they need help in, specifically like marketing and branding, um, business development. Um, I host a lot of workshops, um, sharing the knowledge that I've gained over the five years that I've been in business, um, and just being able to connect people as well. And I also have a, a little side project that I'm tabling for about another couple more months. Um, mm -hmm. It's called Exquisite Minds. Um, it's actually a, a series of small business incubators that I want to create wow. around Charleston um, to be able to, like a, a one-stop shop for any person that wants to start a business or any person that wants to connect with local businesses. That's Exquisite Minds. Wow. So, that's yeah. a lot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm just saying <laughs> I'm you saying that's a so lot, right. yo. Like, yo. I'm exhausted. Just no, it's not. You. No, because I love that. Like, I that's the kind of minds we need. Now, of mm -hmm. course, you know, just like we need people to create those things, we need mm -hmm. people to work in those things and be able to, to follow the vision always and help it come to pass because we yeah. all know that we can be visionaries all day, but we mm -hmm. need workers to come with us. So mm -hmm. I'm, I'm definitely excited about all these things. And the mm -hmm. thing that I know about you is if, that you, if you say you're going to do these things, <laughs> they're going to happen. Mm -hmm. You're 25. She's 25. Okay, sorry. Anyway, sorry. You're so, fine. so with what is what are the the things that you have coming up right now that you're really excited about? Um, I'm really excited about everything that I'm doing. I am currently my next couple of events are you know it's summertime, so I like to do fun stuff during the summer. Um, this is the second year, July 14th. I'm hosting the Treat Yourself Expo. Are you a Parks and Recreation fan? Have you ever seen that show? I have not. Parks and Recreation for but those But lots are... of great people were on it. Wasn't yes. um, Charles Gambino on Parks and Recreation? No, Park? no, no, no. Out? That was, yeah, that's something else. But um, on uh, for anybody who, who's ever seen the show, Parks and Recreation, it's kind of the same style as The Office for anybody that's seen, seen it. I love The Office. Uh, yes, it's kind okay. of the same style with people following them around with cameras. Uh -huh. And the two of the characters on there, they do this thing just one day, once a year. It's called Treat Yourself, where they just do whatever they want. Okay. And it's like they treat themselves to the nice things that they don't get to treat themselves to any other day of the year. It's just their day to just you know, act bad and bougie. Mm -hmm. Okay, be bad and bougie. <laughs> so, um, and the Treat Yourself Expo is kind of that. It's that opportunity for people to come out and just have fun because, you know, we work, we do so much, we're constantly going, going, going. I wanted to be able to create an event to where people can just kind of just come in and just have fun, not have to think about all that stuff and just, you know, to reinforce that, you know, even though you do so much and you may have so many commitments, so many obligations, you know, it's important to still make yourself a priority. Mm -hmm. It's not a crime to say, you know what, I just want to, I don't, you know, I just want to go and get my nails done. Or I just want to go and just sit on the couch and just binge watch a show ah, for a while. You know, it's Treat a, yourself. Yeah, treat yourself to something nice. Wasn't that Aziz Azari? No. He was yeah, in that? Yeah, oh, that okay, was him, right, that was him, okay, that was him. Okay, yeah, right. that was him. Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> he was on that show. Yeah, he's really cool. Mm -hmm. And, um, but yeah, it's just. Having fun, being able to let your hair down, being able to just escape from the world for at least a couple hours at this event and just go shop and buy some stuff from vendors. And all of the vendors there are going to have games that they'll be playing, fun games for people to do. Um, we'll have food from the Charleston Caribbean Creole food truck. They'll be there. Wow. Um, we're going to have a speaker, and she's going to be reinforcing that you need to 
love yourself and treat yourself and you know i'll just be there and so that's you know of course she's she'll be there inspiring on. people yeah. to like open <laughs> open businesses you'll have opened like 10 businesses yeah. by the time you left you'll be like yeah i'm gonna open a taco stand <laughs> And I'm also I send you out there with a business plan and everything, <laughs> yeah, yeah. you know. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. I love that. Yeah. I love that. Okay, so that's to treat yourself. Treat All yourself. Right. That's July 14th from 11 to 2, and that's going to be downtown at the YMCA on Cannon Street. Okay. So parking is limited. I know people don't like to come downtown because of parking, but it's going to be fun. It's a free event. You know, you got to you can shop and buy as much as you want, but the event itself is free. And everybody and their mom will be there. Everybody and their mom. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So after the Treat Yourself Expo, um, I'm doing a series of workshops throughout the um, summer um, that are going to be for professionals and business owners. Um, the one I have is the last Saturday of July, and I'm sorry, I can't think of the date. Um, it is a networking workshop mm -hmm. because, you know, so many people want to start businesses, but they don't know how to network. Right. You know, so the workshop is going to be really interactive to where I'm going to be helping helping people to network, mm -hmm. you know, cause you know, you can go to networking events, but you know, you have those people that just stand off in the corner, yeah, yeah, you know, just not saying anything, mm -hmm. you know? So I want to teach people how to be able to maximize, you know, those opportunities, you know, you can go to a food truck rally and, you know, you can network with people. You can go to the grocery store and go and network with people, you know? So it's, I just want to be able to teach people how to, you know, make the best of, you mm -hmm. know, opportunity so okay. um and then yeah i have so much coming up i mean do you have how much time do we have? keep going I mean, you're good. <laughs> you also were talking about the fill your fill the bus yes mm -hmm. i am a part of an organization called the progressive initiative which is uh which was created to be able to help and to be able to strengthen black businesses in charleston um our That's important. yes our objective is to help black businesses to realize their potential maximize their potential and be as dope as we all are you know yeah. and um also to be able to restore the confidence in black businesses in the black community and in all communities really so what we're doing is a fundraiser all summer long it's called fill the bus and we're collecting school supply donations so we're collecting donations in um the spot 47 downtown on uh cooper street they're going to be loaning us their party bus Word. and all those donations that we get we're going to fill the bus mm -hmm. and we're going to go to a couple of depending on how many donations we get clearly um we're going to go around to different communities and pass out Wow. Wow. That's so dope. Yeah. That is so dope. Do y'all hear this though? I mean, do you really hear this though? <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying we have some dope people in the truck in the truck. Like, and I want to pause at this time to say to, to young people out there, this is what you should be aspiring to. Like we should be aspiring to create the next great ideas, mm -hmm. open the next great businesses, write the next great book. We should be doing these things that we do not need to wait until we're 30 years old to do it. You gotta wait until you're 40 years old to do it. You know, there's no restrictions on, on how, how old you need to be before you can pursue greatness. So I wanna encourage, I wanna first of all, applaud you for that. That's Thank amazing. You. Now with that in mind, I wanna sort of backpedal back mm -hmm. to your books. Okay. Because though we've spoken about your books before, mm -hmm. I think that was when I was still doing the camera phone yeah. and we were doing the picture in picture thing. Yeah. So I wanna be able to share that as well. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about your two books, the first book. Yes, the first book is called The Awkward Hilarious, Painful Guide on Transitioning into Your 20s and Surviving. Um, Easy for I you to say. <laughs> So well, for me personally, I, you know, I felt like I had a very unique experience, you know, growing up, you know, going from that transition from childhood to adulthood. And I wanted to be able to share my story. I felt like I had experienced a lot of different things that I wanted to be able to share with people. Um, it was therapeutic for me, but it was also a great a great opportunity for me to heal as well. Um, and I was able to help people. I was able to inspire people and be able to, because you know, your 20s, when you're coming into your 20s, that's a, a big time in a person's mm -hmm. life. You know, right. when you fresh off, like, you don't want to see your mom and daddy no more. <laughs> and you can do what you want. Or you're going to college or you just graduated high school. You know, there's a lot that you're experiencing, a lot that you're going through. And there's no real roadmap. Like, you don't know what you're doing. You know, so it's kind of like you're just winging it for mm -hmm. most people you're just mm -hmm. winging it and i wanted to be able to offer that kind of be that big sister like hey man follow me i yeah. got you back yeah. you know yeah. Yeah. so it um yeah i just sat down and i just started writing and i just started sharing you know these things that i had never ever told people before and 
Yeah, I spilled my own tea. Ah, <laughs> she spilled her own <laughs> tea. <laughs> Shout out to the Real Housewives of whoever started saying that. <laughs> Yo, that's dope. So, yeah. so that's your first book. Mm-hmm. How did that one do for you? Um, it went really well. I got um, I got a lot of feedback from a lot of people. A lot of people read the book mm-hmm. and a lot of people had a, a lot to say about it. A lot of positive things to say because, you know, when you write something that's very personal, when you put out personal information about yourself, mm-hmm. you know, you're really nervous because you're like, oh, I don't want people to judge right. me. Right. You know, and people didn't judge me. So it was like, whew. Thank God. Yeah, no judgment <laughs> Especially zone. being an entrepreneur, you know, you don't want people to think negatively of Correct. you. You know, especially from the decisions that you might have made or, you know, the bad choices that you might have went through or the things you might have experienced. You don't want people to judge you and look at you or your business in a negative mm-hmm. light. But I felt like people respected me even more. And my best friend read the book and she was like, oh, my God, I didn't know these things. Like, mm-hmm. why didn't you tell me? And so we had a conversation. Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah. So it brought me closer with like my parents, um, you know, my friends, my family. And yeah. Okay. So that was the first book. Mm-hmm. So the second book. The second book is How to Be a Dope Entrepreneur. Mm-hmm. Um, I, again, I had like so many people that would come up to me and say, hey, how did you start a business? I want to start a business. Mm-hmm. How do I do this? Mm-hmm. So I was like, I'm just going to write a book. <laughs> Y'all go write a book and read it. Because for me, it's, it was kind of like, how do you start a business? Yeah. Like, you know, for everybody, the experience is different. You know, I'm sure you started your, your brand and your business mm-hmm. for a totally different reason from why I started yeah. mine, yeah. you know, and you know, anybody, you know, everybody has their reasons. And I just wanted to be able to, the book is all about me sharing my experiences of starting that business, mm-hmm. being, becoming an entrepreneur. And of course, giving that information um, in the beginning where I explained, okay, this is, you know, this is the, the important stuff you need to do, make sure you file this and do this and pay for this, Mm -hmm. you know, but definitely just sharing that information so that, you know, the next wave of entrepreneurship can come in and kind of like, Oh, wow. That's, that's really good. So that's really good. So that one there. So with the books that you're writing, you're Mm -hmm. writing books, you're doing workshops. Mm -hmm. Are you getting into like the speaking game at all? Like doing public speaking and things of that nature? I have wanted to for so long, but I feel like I'm a public speaking person in progress. Okay. I'm a, uh, You're I'm, working I'm, on it. Yeah. I'm, developing I'm, that Yeah, craft. I'm developing that craft. And, you know, because I get a lot of people that always ask me like, oh, you know, will you come and speak to these people? Or I try to, or things come up, or, you know, I'm just like, oh, I don't know, I'm nervous, or I don't know what to say, or, you know, but it's definitely something that I want to do and definitely something that well, this would be a great time to say uh, if you have, if you are looking to get into public speaking, uh, Toastmasters is always a great opportunity to learn. Everyone's been telling me about I do it. I've been doing Toastmasters for a year, and it's grown me yeah. a lot. I've grown up so much in it. I, I think I, I think that might have to be something. That I'm just saying it might, it might be something mm-hmm. to look into. I'm just, yeah. I'm just saying. I'm, I'm not saying. I'm just saying. So, but it's a great, it is a great opportunity. I will tell you, you know, I've, I've grown a lot. It, it puts you in a situation where you have to not only speak. Um, short term but yeah. like like planned out speeches but also speaking extem- extemporaneously mm-hmm. um which is off the cuff spontaneous yeah. speech so i i would recommend it if you if you're interested the green wave gabbers you see yeah. i did that i shouted y'all out green wave <laughs> gabbers um right here in somerville but i don't know if you live in somerville but there's there's tons of them in the charleston yeah. area. there's like 30 in the charleston area oh, wow. yeah like literally any day of the week there's a toastmasters oh, thing going wow. on mm-hmm. so toastmasters you got to plug in that's that's the one you get from me i'll be there soon yeah it's, it's really great though but i i i, I want to know okay so this is a question like i've been asking people a lot recently mm-hmm. um everything goes perfectly for you in 10 years <laughs> where is kimberly bone oh god uh i would hope i would like to be of course you know everybody's goal when you're starting a business you want to be able to run that business full time. So of course being able to run my business full time. Um, because you know bills still gotta be paid. So I still work a full time job. So <laughs> don't we all just love bills? <laughs> so much. So much. <laughs> so in ten years from now I hope to be running my business full time, you know, to have my own space, my own building, um, buildings. You know, I wanna be Look able to this. have multiple locations, multiple offices and being able to help people on a larger scale. Um, you know, being able to make a bigger impact in the Charleston community I feel like 
you know, as someone who's born and raised in Charleston, um, on the east side, downtown Charleston. That's, Shout out east side. side. Out of the wazoo, you know, I want to be able to be that example for people to say, hey, you can come from negative areas or, you know, bad areas or, you know, underserved areas mm, and mm-hmm. still be Good able to, out. yeah, you know, that's what they refer yeah, to us as, you know? So we, you can come from an underserved area or come from any background and mm-hmm. still be able to make a difference, be able to, you know, have your dreams come true. I think people have this idea that dreams are just a TV thing or only certain people can actually be able to live their dreams or whatnot, but that's not true. Like anybody can, you just have to, as long as you are committed to what it is that you want to do and you, you know, you're passionate about it. Like anything is possible. Absolutely. I agree. Totally. We have some great comments here. Um, <laughs> see, Atasha Young says, awesome. I, I need to change my mindset like that. So she needs to change her mindset <laughs> yeah. to be like yours. That's good. Um, t- 10 Days of Women. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Nakia, Nakia. Yeah. Masters of Ed. Yes. 10 um, Days of Women is coming back March 5th to the 15th, 2019. We have an interest meeting on September 23rd. More details. See? See, I, 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 I could probably say B. And then she's like, list a whole bunch of things that begin with the letter B that she's got coming up. <laughs> <laughs> um, Michelle Sherwood, that's mm-hmm. the PTA. She said, "Can I? Can she join our PTA?" <laughs> Look at that. I don't think I can recruit for the PTA, <laughs> but hey, if, if we can make it happen for the, for Cyrus, hey, if you, I mean, you're looking hey, for a PTA to yeah, join, I mean, hey. or you come speak to our kids. Yeah, I would. Once you join you. Toastmasters, <laughs> I did it again. <laughs> So <laughs> give me some time. I'll be to the PTA meetings. Yeah, man. Not, so. so yeah, like for real, like like I I have to, you know, I I once again want to applaud you, not only for being young, but for being a woman who is a great role model for other women. You do things to uplift women, like the ten days of women, which we um discussed, mm-hmm. which um uh, we did the the um day of mm-hmm. hugs, free yeah. hugs thing with the boys, <laughs> which I loved, and my boys still remember to this day, <laughs> which is crazy. Um. And I, I love that. I love that mm-hmm. you uplift people around you. I love that you're you're all about self love and mm-hmm. self um, appreciation and, and knowledge of self, love of self, and growing the community at the same time. Because a lot of people take that and it becomes me, yeah. me, 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 me. But you're not a me, me, me person. Even when you do things, you try to shine a light on other people, and mm-hmm. I love that. I try to because I think it's important for me. I I always. I, I remember, you know, when people reference like passing the baton back and I think that's very important mm-hmm. to do. You know, I I remember when I first started my business and, you know, I didn't get a lot of help. No one wanted to like help me or guide me anyway. Mm-hmm. So I just winged it. Mm-hmm. I was like, okay, I know this is what I want to do. I'm going to keep pressing forward. I'm going to keep trying, keep trying. And yeah, I just did the research. I applied myself and I always promised myself that I wasn't going to treat someone else that was trying, had a dream or had something they were passionate about. I wanted to be able to help them. Mm-hmm. So, you know, through the events that I do, do through the, you know, the businesses that cr- I create. <laughs> she creates businesses. <laughs> you know, through yeah. those things, I, I try to be able to give people hope, inspire people. And it just like how the young lady said, it all goes back to your mindset. You have to have a positive mindset. You have to, so even if you're not surrounded by positive people, you have to be that positive light yeah. in order to be able to show other people like, hey, things are possible. I always say, if Donald Trump is president, then anything you is can possible. do whatever <laughs> you, you want to do. You can do anything. <laughs> you can do anything. Anything is possible. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, like, if Donald Trump is, pre- is president, and he is. You, yes. It's true, guys. I don't know Check if you've been watching CNN. the news. He's still president. I don't know if you've been watching the news. Yes. He's still president. He is. As much he as hosted we The Apprentice. Like mm-hmm. Sorry. Yes. Right. <laughs> as much as we don't like him, as much as this country despises him, he is president. And if, if that's possible, anything is possible. If you say, I want to start a taco stand, or I want to do a Facebook Live talk show, or I want to do this, or I want to do that, you can do those things as long as you apply yourself and as long as you're passionate and as long as you believe in yourself. Yeah. And it's going to be hard. You're going to give up. You're going to... God, I don't want to do this no more, but you just have to. I feel like God chills people the way. Yeah. Because I've tried to, trust me, I've tried to throw exquisite away so many times. And it's just like, God is just like, nah. Nah. Yeah. Okay, come in. I need let you. Me, let me talk to you for a yep. second. You know? I need you. <laughs> I understand. I yeah. understand. Cool, man. This is this has been amazing. <laughs> is there anything else that you want to put out? Yeah, like, we didn't say Jay. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I mean, anything else you want to put out before we before we conclude? Um, well, definitely, if you want to find out more about Exquisite Enterprises, please visit our website, www.exquisiteenterprisesinc.com. Um, that has all of the information about all of the subsidiaries that we have. You can add me on Facebook, Kimberly Bowman. <laughs> I think I'm tagged in the caption, so you can add me. Um, I'm a very, you know, I, I try to, you know, connect people. I try to bring people together in a positive way. You know, I'm goofy. I like to have my fun. I like to laugh. Yeah, man. So, you know, definitely. But, you know, I'm all about, you know, bringing people together and inspiring people and being able to. Where, where else can they find you on social media? Um, I know you all over. I have like so many like pages. Exquisite Enterprise Inc. has a like page. Um, Exquisite Kids has a like page. Exquisite Publishing has a like page. Uh, so exquisite Charleston has a light page. Uh, Instagram. Instagram is at so exquisite chs. Um, I have three at exquisite enterprises inc. Almost forgot. It. And then um, I have at your exquisite solutions as well on Instagram. So exquisite. So, so. <laughs> She's so exquisite. Twitter. Twitter. I can't get into Twitter. I'm on Twitter. Find me at Real Talk with John. Twitter. If somebody wants to create a, a, a Twitter page for me and run it for me, I'm totally for Twitter's that. cool. You just got to know how to use it. See, like, Twitter's for one-offs. See, I... see, the problem is, and this is what happens, mm-hmm. is people use Facebook like you should use Twitter. <laughs> like, if true. you have, a, like, true. a stream of consciousness thought mm-hmm. and it's, like, a one-liner, that's yes, a Twitter that's thing. Twitter. If you have a status that's, like, this long, mm-hmm. that's a Facebook thing, which mm-hmm. really should be a video. I just want to put that out yeah. there. A lot of times we make statuses that should be videos. Mm-hmm. If you just make a video, I can watch your, like, it'll be a it'll be a minute and 20, minute and 30 second video, mm-hmm. but when you type it out, it's, it's really like, long. Uh, doctoral and I, you know, yes, it's your <laughs> dissertation. Like, I get it. You're trying to get your PhD. I mm-hmm. understand. But I don't have time for this today. Yeah. I, I'm trying I don't have to... the energy, like, yeah. I applaud people that sit on social media all day, because just because you see my little light is green, that does not mean that I'm online. It just means my phone's on. Yeah, it just means my phone's, phone's on. on. Or I might have accidentally opened the app. Like, like somebody just was calling me like eight, seven, eighty-seven times just now. I don't know who that was. <laughs> I I don't know the number. Yeah. But apparently he thought my light was green, so he can call me. <laughs> anyway. So with all that being said, find her. This is Miss Kimberly Bowman, mm-hmm. Exquisite Enterprises Incorporated. She's doing great things right here, but this should not stop in Charleston. That's why she went from so exquisite Charleston mm-hmm. to Exquisite Enterprise. Enterprises Incorporated. Because she's thinking beyond the city. The city is great. I love this city, but I want our people to be able to expand beyond us and show and shine their light everywhere. That's what Real Talk with John is all about. It's shining a light on the great things you're doing. That's very so important. Thank you so much no for coming. Thank you. You're mad dope <laughs> as a pleasure. As, as always, it's always a, it's always fun. Hopefully, you come back. Yes, again I will and we'll do Always. another interview and maybe next time I'll be like in a warehouse <laughs> you know what I mean like we'll I have a big studio someone yeah. will be running this camera yeah I'll like, have like a staff of like yes. 30 people running people around running here around we have like camera and camera that. camera <laughs> we're like hey camera shot camera, camera shot I <laughs> <laughs> we was doing this this place like <laughs> <laughs> but yeah man I'm looking forward to it thank you so much for joining no. me again and anything else you want to say before we close um no just find me and connect with Connect with her. Get her books. Mm -hmm. Two books. Name the books again. The Awkward, Hilarious, Painful Guide on Transitioning into Your 20s and Surviving and How to Be a Dope Entrepreneur. Make sure you come out to the Treat Yourself Expo. Treat Yourself. Yes, Treat Yourself to the Treat Yourself Expo on July 14th at the YMCA downtown. Word, word. And as you know, my name is Rajan Lewis, and this is Real Talk with Rajan, local celebrity spotlight. And we love doing this every Wednesday from 7 to Whenever it ends. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> in our Sunday nights, look, uh, Sunday nights, real talk with Rajan live. You know, we're talking music, sports, politics, you name it. We'll discuss it. There's a lot going on in these here streets. Apparently, pool, police, Penny got locked up. So we're going to talk about that this weekend. Oh, yeah. yeah pool, police, Penny, that. man. Pool, police, Penny is, is, is locked up. Is, 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 got locked up. She's out now, though. Oh. She's well. back in these streets. Like, I don't know if she that went back to the pool. Me after, you know, to finish what she I'm started. Sure. <laughs> she ain't going back to that pool. Though. I don't know. Sure she seems she... very excited about the pool. She, she's, she did look very, kind of hard-headed in her mugshot. She, she's so. very serious about that pool. Yeah. Have yeah. you ever been that serious about anything? No. No. It just, it just surprises like, me. I'm just, sorry. The simple things, people just get so, like, uh, about the simple things. I will protect things. this pool. It's just like, calm down. It's all right. <laughs> 
Yeah, we just be black and excellent. We just go swim. Exactly. I'm just here to swim, lady. We just chilling. Anyway. Right. <laughs> Local celebrity spotlight, Kimberly Bowman, Real Talk from Rajan, Sunday nights from 7 to 8. I will see you guys then. And always remember, at the end of the day, if a man doesn't stand for something, he's bound to fall for anything. But that's Real Talk. I'll see you next week. Peace. <laughs>